I want to draw your attention to another important aspect of what we're here to do this evening. We have had the opportunity to recognize the remarkable work of six humanitarians in every way. But there is something else that we need from you and we want you to understand about this evening. And as always, we turn our attention to Torah. As you all know, because you've heard it before this evening, this morning, all around the world, we read the final chapters of the Book of Exodus by Akel and Pikudei, and we learned that the tabernacle is finished, and Moses blesses the people for their work. And we would expect, after the conclusion of the building of the tabernacle, that we would pick up the story next week about the children of Israel's life in the desert as we do in the book of Numbers, Bamid Bar. But in, be in between, interposed between the book of Exodus and the book of Numbers is Vayikra, Leviticus, a commercial interruption to learn about support for the community through the giving of sacrifices and support for the worker bees of the Israelite community, the priesthood. Because not only did the people give for God through their sacrifices, but it was the way the priesthood itself derived its support. Tonight, we revel in the achievement of the work of the World Union for Progressive Judaism in fostering and growing congregations tabernacles all over the world. But now it is time for a commercial interruption because that work can only happen with your support. The priest called upon the people to offer sacrifices. In Hebrew, korbanot. The root of the word kuf resh vet means to draw near. What we ask is that even though we are building communities in far-flung reaches of the world by helping to support this work, you draw them near to you. And you realize that they, those far-flung congregations, become part of your community. On your chairs this evening, each of you received a very special edition of Reform Judaism magazine which we in the World Union hope will be an annual edition, continue to make it possible for Jews here to draw near to Jews there. Please consider supporting our work by helping us send a kid to camp in the former Soviet Union, helping us rebuild and re renovate our international headquarters, Beit Shmuel, in the heart of Jerusalem, or through your general support. When we read this morning of the conclusion of the building of the tabernacle, it says that Moses blessed the people. Yet the words that Moses used to bless the people are absent from the Torah text. Rashi, that great biblical commentator, offers what he thought Moses might have said and I have to give credit to Rashi, it really is lovely. But allow me to offer in closing what I think Moses said when the tabernacle was completed. He lifted his hands above the people. He bowed his head and he said, it would have been impossible to do all of this without all of you. We hope that you will continue supporting the work of the World Union as we help to grow communities around the world. We thank you for your presence here. We thank you for all that you have done and know that we can't do it without you. Thank you. <laughs> 